Hello curious minds, the James Webb Space Telescope has found galaxies rotating in a pattern that defies randomness. Is this just a trick of light, or a clue to the universe's true origin? The James Webb Space Telescope is giving us our deepest ever view of the early universe. And in one recent study it revealed something truly bizarre. Astronomers analyzed 263 distant galaxies, some as far back as just 500 million years after the Big Bang using data from the JADE survey. That stands for JWS Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey by the way. They were specifically looking at the direction these galaxies rotate. Now in a universe that's supposed to be random and isotropic, meaning it has no preferred direction, you'd expect about half to rotate clockwise and half counterclockwise. But that's not what they found. In fact nearly two-thirds of these galaxies appeared to be rotating in the same direction, clockwise, from our point of view in the Milky Way. That's way beyond what chance would allow. And here's the kicker. These galaxies are incredibly far apart, separated by billions of light years. There's no known force or structure that could have linked their rotation, unless there's something much deeper and more fundamental at play. So, naturally, scientists are asking, is this just a quirk in our observations or the fingerprint of something cosmic and colossal? So why is this rotation imbalance so surprising? Well, our current model of the universe, called the cosmological principle, is built on the idea that, on large enough scales, the universe is uniform, no special directions, no preferred spin, it should look the same no matter where you are or which way you look. That's why the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, looks almost perfectly even in every direction. But these galaxies? They're not behaving randomly. If two-thirds are rotating the same way it challenges the idea that the universe has no built-in orientation. And that's a big deal, because if there's a cosmic level spin, it means the early universe might have been born with angular momentum, a sort of built-in twist, from the beginning of time. Some scientists have even proposed that this could be the echo of a larger structure, something that shaped the spin of entire galaxies before they ever fully formed. And remember this isn't just a local cluster or a specific patch of sky, this asymmetry spans billions of light years all the way back to when the universe was still an infant. Either there's a flaw in our measurements, or the universe is hinting at a hidden structure we've never accounted for. Now here's where things get really strange. Some physicists suggest that this unexpected galactic spin alignment could mean we're living inside a black hole. Not figuratively, literally. The idea is part of a theory called black hole cosmology. It proposes that our universe, everything we see from galaxies to gravitational waves, is the interior of a black hole that exists in apparent universe. Think of it like this, when a black hole forms in one universe instead of collapsing into a singular point, it might actually give rise to a whole new space-time on the inside. That space-time could expand, just like our universe does. If the black hole that birthed our universe was rotating, it could have transferred its spin to the baby universe inside. That inherited momentum might explain why galaxies even billions of light years apart show a preferred direction of rotation. It's a mind-blowing idea, and incredibly elegant in some ways. It could even help explain why the Big Bang had such low entropy and why time moves in one direction. But, and it's a big but, this is still highly speculative. There's no direct evidence that universes can exist inside black holes. It's a mathematical possibility, not an observation. And there's another simpler explanation that doesn't require rewriting the laws of physics. Measurement bias. So, if we don't need black holes or a spinning baby universe, what's a simpler explanation for why more galaxies seem to rotate in one direction? It might all come down to how light travels, and how we're moving through space. The theory is called the Doppler bias effect. Here's the idea, the Earth, and the entire Milky Way, is moving through the universe at incredible speed around 600 kilometers per second. That motion affects how we perceive light from distant galaxies. Galaxies that are spinning in a direction opposite to our motion can appear slightly brighter or more blue shifted, because the side of the galaxy moving toward us gets a little boost in brightness. Meanwhile, galaxies spinning with our direction might appear slightly dimmer and are harder to detect, especially in the early universe where objects are already faint. The result? We might be unintentionally overcounting galaxies that spin one way, simply because they're easier to see. And if the James Webb Space Telescope is only detecting the brighter side of that coin, then this spin imbalance could be nothing more than an observational illusion. In fact, a team of researchers already demonstrated this bias using older data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. 
JWST's deeper observations might just be showing us the same effect, but on a much grander, cosmic scale. So maybe the universe isn't playing favorites after all, maybe it's just us, and the way we're looking at it. So, what do these surprising galaxy spins mean for our understanding of the universe? If the spin imbalance is real, and not just an observational trick, it could challenge one of the fundamental assumptions in cosmology, that the universe is isotropic, meaning it looks the same in every direction. A cosmic scale preferred direction could mean that the early universe had a kind of built-in twist, a leftover signature from its birth, or from something even more mysterious, like the rotation of a parent black hole. That would shake up the standard model of cosmology and might require new physics to explain how the universe formed and evolved. On the other hand, if the Doppler bias effect is the culprit, it reminds us that our measurements depend on our viewpoint in space. Either way, these findings push scientists to look deeper and refine their models, which is exactly how science advances, through unexpected clues and the willingness to question assumptions. With more data from JWST and future telescopes, we'll soon learn whether this twist is a profound discovery or a beautiful coincidence. So what happens now? The James Webb Space Telescope has given us an unprecedented glimpse into the early universe, revealing surprises that challenge what we thought we knew. But this mystery is far from solved. Scientists will be diving into even more detailed observations, expanding the sample size beyond those initial 263 galaxies. They want to see if this surprising spin pattern holds true across different regions of the sky, different distances, and over time. And they won't be working alone. Other powerful observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope, the soon-to-launch Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, and the Rubin Observatory will provide complementary data to help confirm or question these findings. Meanwhile, theoretical physicists and cosmologists will be refining their models, exploring ideas like whether the universe could really be spinning, or if the observed pattern is due to more mundane effects like the Doppler bias. They'll also be searching for new, independent lines of evidence that could tip the scales in favor of one explanation or another. This might come from cosmic microwave background studies, gravitational wave detectors, or even experiments closer to home. Ultimately, this process of observing, hypothesizing, and testing is the heart of how science works. So stay tuned, because as JWST and other telescopes continue to peer deeper into the cosmos, we're sure to uncover more puzzles, more surprises, and maybe even a few cosmic secrets that could reshape our understanding of everything. So, is the spin of those galaxies just a trick of light? Or is it a sign that our universe remembers where it came from? Could we really be living inside a black hole? Or is the truth even stranger? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by these cosmic mysteries as we are, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic curiosity, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.